everybody, this is Miss Fox from Thornhill Elementary School Library, and I am very excited to read a book with you today. I love this book. It's called Too Many Mangoes, A Story About Sharing. It's written by Tammy Paikai and illustrated by Dan Robinson. Can you see all the mangoes on that tree? So many. I love mangoes. I know not everybody likes them, but if I had a tree full of that many mangoes, I'd be excited. Kama and his sister Nani love to climb the giant mango tree when they visit their grandpa's house. Kama can climb up high. He helps Nani find a special branch to sit on. Grandpa comes outside and asks Kama to pick some mangoes. Kama reaches and tugs on the mangoes one by one and passes them to Nani and she passes them to Grandpa. There are big ones, small ones, ripe ones, green ones, and some have brown spots on them. Grandpa looks over the huge pile of mangoes. He says, there are too many mangoes for our little family. Take some down the road and share them with our neighbors. Kama and Nani load the mangoes in a little red wagon and pull it down the road to the first house. Aloha, Auntie Pua, Grandpa said to give some mangoes to you, Nani exclaims. Mahalo, children. These mangoes will make delicious mango bread, says Auntie Pua. These spotty ones are perfect. Here are some banana macadamia nut muffins that I baked this morning. Mahalo for sharing, says Auntie Pua. They see their friends at the next house. Kama and Nani sing out, Aloha, Momi and Kawai. Grandpa has too many mangoes. Ooh, I love to eat fresh ripe mangoes, says Momi. They both take a few golden yellow ones and say, Mahalo for the mangoes. Here are some papayas for your family. Kama and Nani visit the next neighbor. Aloha, Mr. Wong. Grandpa has some mangoes for you today, Kama says. He takes a few green mangoes and says, green mango with shoyu, vinegar, and chili pepper water is the best. Mrs. Wong made some guava jam. Here is a jar for you. Each neighbor that they visit gives them something in return. Lonnie likes pickled mango. She takes the half ripe mangoes and gives Kama some bananas. Liko prefers to sprinkle Li Hang powder on her mango. The Li Hang flavor makes the mango sweet and sour. She gives Nani a beautiful orchid plant from her yard. They finally want, went to every house on the block and realized that although the mangoes were gone, their wagon was completely full. Look at all that stuff they got. Grandpa sees Kama and Nani returning home. Nani excitedly tells Grandpa, we were able to share all of our mangoes. Kama shows Grandpa all of their mahalo gifts from the neighbors. Nani puts the orchid on the table. Kama gives each of them a muffin with guava jam on it. And Grandpa combines the bananas, papayas, and mangoes together to make a fresh fruit salad. Nani picks up a big slice of mango. She smiles and says, we're lucky Grandpa had too many mangoes. And there's the end. The tree doesn't have so many mangoes on it anymore. But what I love about this story is that the kids share so much with all of their community and then people share right back with them. So I love the message of this book and I love mangoes. And so I'm glad I got to share this mango story about sharing with you. Have a great day, everybody. Mm -hmm.